We have new information tonight about a Clearwater father of two accused of slamming his pickup into a city worker that he didn't even know. Investigators say that the suspect told them that he intended to kill the African-American man because he thought he was a terrorist. 10 News reporter Tammy Fields is live near Bayfront Medical Center in St. Pete where the victim is recovering tonight. And Tammy, how's he doing? That's a big question tonight. You know, Heather, I can tell you that he had to have emergency surgery. Terry Butler had a fractured neck and internal bleeding as well. Many of his friends, his family say he is a hardworking family man who worked for the city of Clearwater more than two decades. These hate crimes, boy, they just look like they're blooming up again, you know. 68-year-old Willie Williams Jr. knows the bitter sting of racism. At 29, he was one of the first black firefighters with Clearwater Fire and Rescue. Forty years later, he can't believe his neighbor, 53-year-old Terry Butler, also a longtime city worker, was run down Thursday afternoon. Clearwater police say 35-year-old Gerald Preeb, also called Jerry, was behind the wheel of his pickup truck. They say he sideswiped Butler's city vehicle before slamming into him. The impact from that crash threw Butler 20 feet away. Gerald Pre told investigators that he hit him because he thought he was a terrorist. He man was no terrorist. He didn't even look like a terrorist. He was just a regular Afro-American. No word on why Preeb, a father of two young kids, thought Butler was a terrorist. His own wife posting on the internet this picture showing her excitement over becoming a U.S. citizen. Hmm. That really shocked me. Meanwhile, Butler's neighbors are just hoping he pulls through. Oh, my God. You just don't know. You just don't know anymore. Real scary. I mean, it's, life is getting to be real scary. Tonight, Butler remains in the hospital. He is in good condition, though. That is some good news. Preeb, though, on the other hand, remains in jail where he is being held on a $100,000 bond. He is facing an attempted murder charge. In St. Pete, Tammy Fields, 10 News.